HAV IgG IgM Rapid Test Cassette Whole Blood Serum Plasma Instructional Video Preparation Open the kit box. Carefully read the instructions for using the HAV IgG IgM Rapid Test Cassette Whole Blood Serum Plasma. Look at the expiry date at the back of the foil pouch. Use another lot if expiry date has passed. The kit is generally composed of test cassette, buffer, package insert, dropper, extraction tube, and workstation. You also need clock or timer, pen or pencil, centrifuge, pipette gun and tips, collection tube containing anticoagulants of EDTA, oxalate or heparin, but these are not provided. Specimen collection, storage and preparation. Test procedure. Allow test cassette, specimen, buffer and, or controls to equilibrate to room temperature 15 to 30 degrees Celsius prior to testing. Remove the test cassette from pouch. Place it on a clean flat surface, write specimen ID. Locate the extraction tube on the workstation. Unscrew the buffer cap, add 6 drops about 250 microliter of buffer solution into the extraction tube. Using a pipette to transfer 1 microliter of specimen from the collection tube into the extraction tube, then use the pipette to mix the solution completely. Hold the dropper vertically and transfer 2 to 3 drops about 70 to 100 microliter of mixed solution into sample well S of the test cassette. Start the timer. As the test begins to work, a red color moves across the reading window of test device. Wait for the red line lines to appear. Read test results in 15 minutes. Note, do not read results after 15 minutes. Interpretation of results. Positive. IgM positive. In addition to the presence of C band, if only IgM band is developed, the test indicates the possibility of primary infection. IgG positive. In addition to the presence of C band, if only IgG band is developed, he test indicates the possibility of the secondary infection or past infection. Vaccination may be one of the reasons for being positive for HAV IgG. Both IgG and IgM positive, in addition to the presence of C band, both IgM and IgG bands are developed, the test indicates the possibility of acute secondary infection. Vaccination may be one of the reasons for being positive for HAV IgG. Negative. If only the C band is present, the absence of any burgundy color in the both test bands IgM and IgG indicates that no HAV antibody is detected in the specimen. Invalid, control line fails to appear. Insufficient specimen volume or incorrect procedural techniques are the most likely reasons for control line failure. Review the procedure and repeat the test with a new test cassette. If the problem persists, Discontinue using the test kit immediately and contact your local distributor.